What's up, dudes? Okay, GY6 engine right here. I'm going to show you the difference between, like, how do you even know you have a GY6 engine? They make QMB 139s, QMJ 157s, QMI 152s. There's so many things to know about your engine if you're going to order parts for it. And let me just educate you. All right, so this is a GY6 engine, and they're not all the same, so pay attention. You need to find out if you have a long case or a short case, because that's going to matter when you order a belt, or if you order a wheel. If you have a Honda Ruckus, you're going to want a long case, or you have a long case. Short case engines are for 10-inch wheels. You also see them in like ATVs and buggies, things like that, where a long case isn't necessary. So anything larger than 10-inch wheels, like 12-inch and 13-inch, you have a long case. And there's going to be different belt sizes for that. So that's the first thing to know. To be sure you have a GY6 engine, there's a little plate right here. Let's decode this little number that's right below your variator to de so you can decide if you actually have a GY6 engine. I'm going to kind of go backwards here. We're going to focus on QMJ here. If you have a Q in there, you have a GY6. The next thing you need to look for is MJ. What does MJ mean? MJ means 150cc. MI, QMI would mean you have a 125cc. Then you have the QMB, that's going to be a 50cc. But to make a long story short, this, these last two digits, the MJ is going to tell you the size of the engine in letters. And then these, these numbers here, 5.7, that's the bore in millimeter size. And then the Q, that's your Q to know that you have a GOA6. And then you've got this little one right here, that's for uh, one uh, piston. So 157 QMJ. But to make a long story short, GY6 150cc is a 157 QMJ. The final thing you need to know, do you have a GY6A or do you have a GY6B? The only way that you're going to know that is by removing this valve cover, opening that up to expose the cylinder head that's on there. So a GY6A from center to center stud spacing is 54 millimeters. That is a GY6A motor. Now if you had a GY6B motor, you're going to be at 57 millimeters. Something like this. So the stud spacing is quite a bit different. Which means you can't put a GY6A top end on a GY6B. Very, very important to measure that before you order a big bore kit or any top end stuff. Remember, the GY6A has a 54 millimeter. That's going to be like your standard Chinese GY6. And then like the Taiwanese made motor, like TIDA, TIDA, TIDA is a brand in Taiwan, is going to be the uh, 57 millimeter stud spacing. So if you're going to order a big bore kit, you need to know that. 64.6 millimeters is the max you can go on the engine cases before you go, go into the oil port. And then like the TIDA motors, the um, GY6B motors, you can go all the way up to 70 millimeters. The motor that you really want to have though is the GY6B motor. That's going to be like it's got the, the larger stud spacing, which means you can do a larger big bore kit. So like a 232cc. If you have a QMB 139, don't even worry about GY6A or GY6B. That doesn't really exist. So yeah, it's like my brain had the flu and I just puked out all my information to you guys on the GY6. And uh, that's everything I know. Maybe I got something wrong. I doubt it. I've been using this info for the last 10 years. But if you need to correct me, in the comment section below because there is like so many different motors and things like that please comment below and if you're one of those guys that has like the weird motor like the z5 or one motor and what about this and that there's a lot of knowledgeable people out in this community put it in the comment section and somebody will answer it now don't forget to do like a spinning bicycle kick onto the subscribe button and uh, head over to instagram rolling wrench is our handle and we'll see you on the next video